Hey, good morning, everyone. How's it going today? Coach Alvarez here. Back at you with another episode of Coffee with Coach on this Tuesday morning. Hope you're up, doing well. Got the mind in the right place. But if not, let's put it in the right place um, for today with those mental vitamins. So the uh, going through my walk today, again, listen to the same thing. But then I came across something else um, in this book I wanted to share with you. I've been sharing like little little pieces here and there out of this, out of this book, Do the Work, Stephen Pressfield. See if I can get a better look. Um, and it's something that I've kind of touched on before with all the Jocko books and uh, stuff that I read. I'm looking over here because all my Jocko books are here to the right. But um, the Navy SEALs, right? Jocko's Navy SEAL. And you got uh, David Goggins' Navy SEAL training and, and ringing the bell. Okay? Ringing the bell. You ring the bell, it's over. Right? You get to, you get to go home because you can't take it anymore. You quit. I'm done, and that's it, right? Ring the bell. So in this book with Stephen Pressfield, he touches on this, and I wanted to just uh, uh, share this with you because I just thought it was really, really good. So let me go into it right away. Uh, ringing the bell. Navy SEAL training puts its candidates through probably the most intense physical ordeal in the U.S. military. The reason is they're trying to break you. SEAL trainers want to see if the candidate will crack. Better than the aspiring warrior fails, it's, it's better that the war, aspiring warrior fails here at Coronado Island in San Diego than some place where a real wartime mission and real lives are at stake. In SEAL training, they have a bell. When a candidate can't take the agony any longer, the six mile ocean swims or the 15 mile full load runs or the physical and mental ordeals on no sleep and no food, when he's had enough and he's ready to quit, he walks up and rings the bell. That's it. It's over. He has dropped out. You and I have a bell hanging over us too. Here in the belly of the beast, will we ring it? There's a difference between the Navy SEAL training and what you and I are facing now. Our ordeal is harder because we're alone. This is where it gets good. We got no trainers over us, shouting in our ears or kicking our butts to keep us going. We've got no friends, no fellow sufferers, no external imposed structure. No one's feeding us, housing us, or clothing us. We have no objective milestones or points of validation. We can't tell whether we're doing great or falling on our faces. When we finish, if we do, no one will be waiting to congratulate us. We'll get no champagne, no beach party, no, no diploma, no insignia. The battle we're fighting we can't explain to anybody or share it with anybody or call in anybody to help. The only thing we have in common with the SEAL candidates is the bell. Will we ring it or won't we? Man, that one got me really good this morning because it's true. Like, you know, for the SEAL training, you see, a, you know, well, it starts off with a bunch of guys. I forgot the number that starts. But obviously, as the training goes on, you know, more and more people ring the bell and the ones that are hanging still left. They have each other to kind of like uh, feed off of to keep going. You got someone next to you. Hey, like, don't quit, man. Keep going. Like, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't ring the bell. And a lot of times, whatever we're going through, because we're all going through something, right? We're all going through something. It doesn't matter who you are. We're either going through something right now or we just came out of a storm or we're getting ready to go into a storm that we can't see. It's out there. It's just we're getting ready. We're, we're going towards it. Is just we're not there yet. And if you've been alive long enough, you've gone through plenty of storms, right? It's just you're still here, right? You're still here. You're still making it. So what I like about this is is in the Navy SEAL training, they have, you know, they have their, you know, you got someone next to you trying to just talk, say something in the air and push you. And for most of us, we don't have that. You know, we don't have a lot of the times we're hanging out with people that aren't really pushing themselves and they're ready to quit. So then we're ready to quit and it just follows suit, right? Like it's just... Um, it's one of the things I heard the other day, like your, your, um, your, your net worth is your network or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? It's like basically who, who you are, who you hang with kind of thing. So if you're not hanging out with some real winners, some people that don't like to quit, most likely you will too. And the same thing with this, we're by ourselves, like whatever goal we have, we're trying to go get it. You got to go to the gym today and you're trying to get a workout in. No one's going to be really there pushing you unless you actually have a personal trainer that you're going to meet. But if you walk into the gym and today's your run day or today's your workout day, 
and you're not really feeling it, who's really there in your ear to kind of push you? You have to push yourself. We're by ourselves, you know. Uh, Jiu-jitsu training, just pick anything, anything. You know, I have my own business, so either I got to get up and make moves every day or, you know, I can just allow myself to just, no, not today, And but I don't win the day. You know, you guys, if you've been paying attention to me long enough, it's either the hashtag or it's just the phrase or the thing I live by is just like win at life. Like, that's just the goal. Like, I just want to win at life. I've been through so many things with so many people, um, you know, just whatever. I just want to win at life. But there's no one really there to kind of help me with that. I'm by myself every single day. And the thing that really helps me are these books, the things that I'm listening to. That's why I'm sharing them with you guys. Because if you listen to me long enough, maybe you will pick up some of these books. Maybe you will start hitting that playlist with the motivational stuff and different people talking. Those are the guys or those are the the, the people that, that get me through each day. The second that I feel like I'm getting weak, I'm getting tired, I don't want to do something even though I need to do it. You know, that stuff's in my ear to pick me back up and be like, man, like you don't have time to play around. Like life is short. You don't have any time to waste. Like, you know, it's not it's, it's not all fun and games, man. I got to get to work. I got to make things happen. So uh, like this thing says here, you know, with the Navy SEALs, you know, they get a beach party. They get a diploma. They get the insignia, the wings. You know, they get they get, uh, you know, champagne. And when we win something, we really don't get any of that. Right. Like we don't know. As we're going through the thing that we're going through, are we getting closer or are we getting further away from the goal? You know, at least with the Navy SEAL training, you can, you know, like, hey, well, there's the finish line. We got, we got to get there. I got to climb over that. And once I get to that, you know, I'm good. But on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't have like a measuring stick to say, yeah, 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 you're getting closer. Keep going. You know, a lot of times we're, we're right there. We're right at the breaking point where... We are going to make it, but we've had so much stuff happen to us that we just throw in the towel and give up and um, we quit right before the right before we make it. You know, there's a book. It's uh, I think it's in the, the Think and Grow Rich book. If you don't have that one, that's another good one. You need to get it's a small little book like this one here. Um, it's not a big read. It's a small, one, but it's got some really, really good stuff in there. And there's an example in there where, you know, the guy's like digging for, I don't know, diamonds or something. And one one picture is like this guy dug this big, you know, he, he, he dug this far. He, he did all the work and right where and on the other on the on the wall there on the other side are all the diamonds. Right. Or whatever he was trying to get. And the other picture, he's walking away now because he just he's tired of digging. He's tired of digging. He's tired. Of, he can't. He don't think he's going to get it. Now he's going in the other direction. Then the other picture is like someone else coming in and he's digging and boom, just one, you know, just a couple digs. And here's all these diamonds there. The other guy did all the work you know, and gave up and here the other guy comes in and just finishes the work. You know, we don't have that. We have no idea what's on the other side, how close we are to getting the goal that we want to get. The thing is, we just got to keep moving. And so we don't have that push every day. It's really hard. So we, what happens? We give up. We just throw in the towel and say, man, enough's enough. I don't know when it's going to happen. So forget about it, you know. So this stuff here, it just, it just, I can really connect with it because yeah, I don't have someone over me every day. Elvarez, get up, man. Make it happen. Elvarez, get up, make it happen. Oh, you're tired today? Doesn't matter. Get up, make it happen. You know, or you're not feeling it today? Get up, make it happen. I don't have that. It's just myself every day, just discipline, listening to this stuff and reading this kind of stuff. This is what feeds me every day. I feed myself with this stuff every day. So I just wanted to share that stuff with you because we're all alone, man. We are. We are. We do. We have friends and family around us for sure. But at the end of the day, most of them don't have the same goals and ambitions and ambitions as we do. So that push isn't really going to be there because they're not pushing themselves the same way we're trying. If anything, we're trying, they're, they're probably trying to deter us from that push because we, they look, we look crazy. We look obsessed. We look like we're doing too much and we're really not. We need to do more every single day. So if that's you out there, don't ring the bell. All right. Don't ring the bell. Don't walk up to it and ring the bell. Don't quit. Make it happen. Just keep moving. You'll get where you want to get to. You got to keep moving every day, though. All right. So uh, really good stuff today. I wanted to share with you. It's a short little read, but um, I just felt like it was just something that um, I really connected with this morning because, yeah, man, the Navy SEALs might be some really tough training, but they have each other there to push each other. And we're all alone in this thing, uh, you know, trying to make it happen. So don't ring the bell. All right. Let's catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day.